Hey friends, if you wanna get more leads and more customers using email automation, I just put together this video showing exactly how to set up your email automations to turn leads into customers. Now, what you need to do is build relationships with people through your email so they remember to come back and buy. Most people don't buy the first day, but if you build a relationship, follow up with them and communicate with them, you'll get them to buy next week, next month, and even next year. So if you check out this full video, I'm gonna break down exactly when to send your emails, what to send, and how to set up that automation in MailerLite. So check it out and let me know if it helps in any way. Now, if you're not using MailerLite, that's totally fine. You can use your automations in your MailChimp account, Active Campaign account, whatever you're using, but it's the same format and same ideas. Additionally, if you need a new email marketing software, I have my affiliate link down below that will give you a free trial for MailerLite. And if you're a nonprofit, they'll give you 30% off as well if you decide to sign up. So that'd be great. All right, so this is what it looks like once you're in your MailerLite account. Over on the left, you're gonna see your dashboard. And we're gonna to navigate to automation. So once you're here, whether you already have a, an, an account or you're setting up a new account, we're going to create a new automation here. That's the key. Um, you might already have some in here. It's totally fine, but let's just create a new one from scratch so I can walk you through it. All right, now that we're here, there's going to be a couple options. So depending on if you're an e-commerce business or you're just looking for more people to schedule calls with you or just come back to your website to read your newsletters, um, this they have some good templates that you can choose from. So different things like win back subscribers, you can do new promos, welcome new people, even abandoned carts and different things like that. So I'm gonna create one from scratch, but once you learn the framework behind it, you can go ahead and choose a template and that will help you get started even quicker. So let's just call this new, just call this new and start building. All right, now once the page is open here, you need a reason to start it. So the reason to start is gonna be from these options here. I usually choose when a subscriber joins a group. What I do is I create a group in my MailerLite account and this is the group. Let's say it's new leads or new customers or abandoned carts. Once you choose that group, it'll be here. If you don't have a group yet, feel free to just make a new one by typing here and you can say add a new group. Then that's where you'll want to start adding people in order to trigger this automation. You can also do things like if you're using the landing page builder or the form builder in MailerLite, you can use that to auto trigger this automation. That's usually the easiest and quickest way so you don't have to go use Zapier to connect your contact form to MailerLite. You can also even create things like if they click a link in your email, if they update a field, maybe they add their address or their company name, or you can even set up anniversaries and different things like that. So my basic one is the group. Feel free to choose whatever you'd like there. Now I do recommend allowing subscribers to repeat the workflow. 95% of the time, somebody might come and sign up again. If you're doing a free offer, a checklist, a guide, abandoned cart, you want them to come through this flow again, just in case they're interested. They might fill this out today and then fill it out in a month from now when they're finally ready. Now, if you only want them to go through the workflow once, turn that off and hit save. All right, now it's time to start making your funnel. Now they have multiple options here. Just send the email wait a delay and then send the email a condition like something like did they purchase or they did they not purchase and then different actions like when it's time to send them to your newsletter list or send some, them somewhere else in mailer light and you can even do some a b testing so i'm going to start with a simple delay now usually on my automations i don't add a delay before the first email but you can add maybe a two minute delay here that way if they're getting multiple things in their email, they don't get them all at once. This is just as an example. Next, we can add an email. Usually when somebody signs up for something, you want them to get that email right away. Now, if you don't have your domain authenticated yet, this is just my demo account, make sure you follow their steps. It's super easy. And I also have a video showing how to do it in my YouTube channel, just to make it a little bit easier for you where I share my screen. This part right here only is for your reference. So if you want to know that this is email one, you put email one here. The subject line is for the client. Open your email. Whatever is compelling enough, 
to tell them, here's your guide, you left something in your cart, something to tell them what the email is going to be about so they open it. Now, who do they know you by? A lot of people know me by Brad at Automation Links. So I like to put both of those in. It increases my open rates dramatically. If you only have your company name or your personal name, they may not reference and know you as the other. So I like to do both just so they remember. Some people remember your company, some people remember you. Add both and they'll never forget. And then of course the email you're gonna send. Now I'm not gonna design an email today, but once you design an email, there's multiple different templates you can use. Plain text, newsletter style, now, if you want a 60 to 80% open rate, I want to show you this. This is my perfect email. This email averages an 80% open rate for us. This email is guaranteed to turn leads into customers. And if you want this, go ahead and go to the perfect email. I'll include the link below this video and grab this so you can copy and paste this into your email account. This will help you get more leads turning into customers because they're actually opening and reading your email. All right, once you've got email one set up, we're gonna go ahead and save and we're gonna add our next condition. Now this is where we wanna add something like this, where we wanna actually try to split it. Because if somebody fills out this form, they come in and get my first email and they schedule with me, I might not want to send them the other emails. If they don't schedule with me, I wanna keep sending them those emails, that's key. Also, if they abandon cart, let's say somebody abandoned cart on your e-commerce store and they don't buy, we want to send them the emails. But if they end up buying an hour later, a couple hours later, we're going to want, we don't need to send them the automated emails anymore because now they should be in your customer group, which is really key. And that's where you want to use these conditions. Usually any rule, if they join another workflow, join another group in your MailerLite account, if they click on a link, multiple different options that you can add here. So you can feel free to add these, um, whatever you want. You, what I do is when somebody becomes a customer, I have them add a field called customer, and then I can filter those out here so they don't get the rest of those emails. All right, now we wanna add another email, but we only wanna send it at a certain time of day. So that's when we're gonna choose set delay. From here, we can pretty much choose anything here. Specific time of the day, you can choose for 9 a.m., but I personally like specific day of the week where I can just send it during the weekday because I know that's when my customers are actually on their emails and not during the weekend. Now for you, they might be opening the emails at any time. So think about what your customer's needs are when they're in their email the most, maybe even what time they clicked on your first email, when are they gonna be the most active and try to send it on those days and those times. You wanna show a little empathy for your clients and make this about them. And you can go ahead and add email two. Now we have email two in here. Same thing for your reference, you know it's email two. And then you can go ahead and add the rest here. A couple other things you can do is you can also add an action. So this is what I like to do. I'll actually add it down here. So once somebody completes my email series, I like to move them to another group. So what they got was my automated emails and I suggest over a series of two weeks. And then when they're finished with that, send them to your newsletter list so you can then set up another automation to send them monthly newsletters so you always stay in touch. So when they're finished with this automation, add a, this action and move them to a new group and I would call it newsletter group. And that way when they're done, they move on to the next action. Now, if you decide to use this system, I recommend using our six automated email templates. Now I did tell you about this one, the perfect email. This is the perfect email. Now, if you decide that you need our help setting this up and you actually want all six emails I recommend, go to our store and go to the automa email automation template. And this is where I'll actually give you the six emails that you can copy and paste right in this automation and it'll turn your leads into customers because it's proven to work not just for us, but for our hundreds of clients that we work with. And all you have to do is copy and paste it, change it to your words and your links and start generating more sales. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. And if you need any other help with your MailerLite account, feel free to reach out to us and hopefully you get signed up and start sending automated emails. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next video.